Okay, so this is my uh, sort of fix for the Z height stuttering issue I was seeing on the tutorial. Um, I'll walk you through it. It's, it looks very simple because I'm kind of a caveman when it comes to programming. So everything is sort of one block at a time. Do this, then do this, then do this. Um, let's start by looking at the old one. Um, it's certainly more elegant than mine, but I could not wrap my head around it and it had that stuttering issue and I couldn't fix it because I can't understand what this is. It's written in like an alien language. Uh, but one thing I did want to point out real quick, and this is kind of unrelated, but uh, we're using the the capsule's radius scaled and plugging that into the set capsule size, which is unscaled. So I don't know what issue that would cause, like maybe runaway expansion or runaway contraction if you ever change the value, but I can't imagine that you would want to put a scaled value into the unscaled value. Uh, anyways, that's it. <clears throat> so let's get into my sort of fix. Uh, so it starts the same. We've got our initialized capsule position. Uh, you no longer need to set the um, capsule half height default. Um, it's it's managed every single frame, so we don't do any sort of offsetting with that. Uh, so you don't need a starter value. And then this is the actual loop. So it's broken into single, easy-to-understand chunks because I'm a caveman when it comes to programming, and I sat here banging rocks together for God knows how long to get this to work. So first thing we want to do is we need to measure our HMD height, right? How hard, how high is our headset up off the ground? So we get our orientation and position, we need our Z, and we divide by 2 to get our half height because we use the half height for the capsule. So that gives us our half height in double precision. So the important thing is this is all in double precision, or excuse me, double precision. Our get orientation and position is in double precision, dividing it by 2, which is a double, and again giving us the output, which is a double. Now, here's the optional adding the extra height on the uh, capsule. I've tested this up to like plus 200. It, it works perfectly. Your headset stays right where it is. The floor stays where it is, and the capsule extends up above your head. So just add that and, and give yourself an HMD half height with offset. Again, it's double precision. Moving on, we're going to get the delta between the target capsule height, so your player collision. We want to get the difference between how high it is now versus how high we want it to be. So how high we want it to be is our HMD's half height plus the offset. And we're going to minus that by the current capsule components, capsule half height. Now, notice here this is a float single precision. The Unreal Engine as a form of um, optimizing is using the capsule values at single precision. So it's, it's just a regular float. It's not a double. This is kind of where a lot of the problems are coming from because the capsule is only seven digits of precision, whereas the world position and your HMD position is all in double, which is 16 digits of precision, which is quite a bit more. It's, uh, it's very noticeable when you're, when you're moving by a single. And yes, let's move on. Uh, so we get our height delta, the change between where it is now versus where it's going to be. Now, we're not using that delta yet. Um, I'm not so so I think before what it was doing was it was using the delta to change the size of the capsule. I don't I don't like doing that because in my head it kind of seems like you could over time accumulate some errors and then end up with a, a capsule that doesn't actually match your character height. So I do a set capsule half height. And I'm just setting it to what I want it to be, the HMD half height with offset, which again is a double going into half height, which is a single. So we're losing some precision by setting the half height because the capsule's height and radius are in singles. They're not in doubles. Now, since we've changed our capsule half height, the entire player rig either needs to move up or down to keep the bottom of the capsule on the ground. Now, you can ignore this, and the engine will do that automatically, but it takes an extra frame. So you can eliminate that stuttering by setting the world location yourself. So we get our capsule component, we get our component's world location, we're going to keep the X, we're going to keep the Y, we're going to change the Z, we're going to add in our capsule height delta, which is single precision. So we've got our world precision double, we're adding our single precision delta to get the new world location, which this should be perfectly dead on where we need to be because we're taking into account that we're, we've got a double in our world position, but our delta is single. By taking that into account, this should be dead on, and we shouldn't have any stuttering while moving up and down. Uh, and then last thing we need to do, since we just moved the entire rig, we need to move our VR origin so that the player's head-mounted display stays exactly where it was. So we just get our VR origin, keep your X, keep your Y, ignore the Z. We're going to set the Z ourselves with our HMD half-height with offset. 
multiply that by negative one, obviously because we need a negative value. The zero is in the dead center of the capsule. We need to be below that. So that's a negative. Uh, you can do a neg here. I think it's called negate. You should be able to do that. Uh, it was causing issues for me, so I'm just manually doing multiply by negative one. And that is how it got working for me. And then you can set this timer to whatever you want and it will work.